arriving at Platform 1, Istanbul's new airport metro service. It's expected to carry an estimated 800,000 passengers per day between the main airport on the European side and the city in less than half an hour. I used to take two buses to get here. Now I can reach the airport quickly on a single metro. Transportation has become easier for me. The airport is huge and far from the city centre, so we were worried about transportation before we arrived. After we heard that the metro was opened, we were relieved. I'm happy to use the metro. It spares us from the traffic ordeal. It's a lifesaver in big cities. We get where we want to go quickly, as if we were flying without getting stuck in traffic. With a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour, it's the fastest subway in the country. The underground line runs from the Katani neighborhood to Istanbul airport. Work is in progress to extend the line to Gayra Tepe, which is a major interchange station. In April, another section is expected to open, connecting Istanbul airport to Halkali. When this project is completed, it will be a 69 kilometer line. By the end of the year, it will be connected to the Marmara line and it will span a total of 150 kilometers. It connects seven different districts of Istanbul. The project has taken six years from the planning phase to become operational. And what's been built in that time is a reliable, efficient, fast metro service that's an attractive option for passengers who want to get from the city of Istanbul to the larger of its two international airports. Istanbul Airport opened in 2019, and until now, people had to rely on the roads to get here. The addition of the high-speed train link reduces pressure on the motorway and keeps people moving. Claire Herriot, TRT World, Istanbul Airport.